Hello everyone, it's an honor for having an opportunity to present the 2022 EPPF Summit. My name is Guru Prasad Ramuthi. I'm a Global Head of Network Architecture, Engineering and Operations at SNP Global. Today we'll talk about the role of a network engineer in the Kubernetes world. As app developer role is evolving, so as a network engineer. We will also deep dive into the SNP Global network transformation journey and how we delivered a seamless, secure and frictionless network experience for our developers in the on-prem world, in the cloud world, and how we are doing this in the Kubernetes serverless architecture world as well. Talking about the company, SNP Global is a leading provider of independent ratings, benchmarks, analytics, and data for capital and commodity markets worldwide. To do this, we operate in 100 offices worldwide, 51 data centers, four multi-cloud providers, and 37,000 talented employees. They work around the clock to deliver the essential intelligence to our customers across the globe. Let's talk about the journey of SNP Global. It's an industry-leading strategy. The journey started late 2017, early 2018. Like every large enterprise, we also lifted and shifted all our applications into a single cloud provider. Over time, the strategy evolved, the journey evolved, and we started building our multi-cloud strategy and we provided a seamless onboarding experience for a multi-cloud environment in order to continue to propel our strategy further and as well as towards the path of reducing our overall cost of managing and maintaining this infrastructure. And that led into the further conversation of about how do we operate financially very well and uh, the efforts started off about cost reduction. And uh, there are several initiatives that have put around cost reduction by automating the environment, optimizing the environment, as well as adopting the multi-cloud capabilities and more importantly deploying more modern and cloud native kubernetes architecture that can reduce the cost that can make our infrastructure and applications very nimble so that we can take the benefit of the overall cloud and things changed in 2022 with the merger with ihs market where our number of applications have grown more our number of data centers have grown more but the team at snp global is very hands-on and they have a very good experience of lifting, shifting, transforming into multi-cloud, as well as deploying the same in the Kubernetes world. So we build this rinse and repeat approach of fast tracking our remaining application migration journey into the cloud using the rinse and repeat approach and using the same playbook where our subject matter experts who had the past experience are now helping to fast track our remaining applications that came from the IHS into the cloud as well. And because the cloud has advanced from 2017 to 2018 to 2022, the team has got a good opportunity to also look at, can some of the applications go into the Kubernetes world right up front instead of moving into the cloud first and then moving into the multi-cloud and then moving into the Kubernetes. So the experience, the technology advancement and the rinse and repeat approach giving us an opportunity to kind of look at various possibilities of fast tracking our remaining application journey into the cloud. But let's talk about what happened to the applications that moved into the cloud three years before. The applications that have moved into the cloud a couple of years before have already begun transforming into the Kubernetes architecture. And within SNP Global, we have several business units. Each one of them have taken their charter of transforming their application into the serverless architecture into the respective cloud ecosystem. And Network team has been that uh, center and corner of all the conversation in enabling our businesses to transform them into that Kubernetes architecture. Let's talk about a myth buster here. The common myth in the industry is app team can function independently in the Kubernetes world. Like I said in the beginning, uh, as application developer role, role is evolving, so as the network engineer, the truth and the fact is there needs to be an increased collaboration between the app and the network team in order to run a reliable, secure, and scalable application in the multi-cloud environment. Because if you look at our journey, the application moving into the Kubernetes world or application moving into the cloud world started with single cloud provider. And when you go into the single cloud provider, when you go into the single Kubernetes world, it always, it's a cloud native um, use cases that's been used within the single cloud provider. But when things become multi-cloud, when the use cases is grow, when number of apps are growing, the complexities is growing. So in order to avoid addressing the challenges down the road, uh, hence it is important to engage with 
the network team ahead of time, giving them a chair in that Kubernetes conversation, Kubernetes uh, discussion is extremely important to avoid uh, some of the challenges that we will talk in the following slide uh, so that we can proactively look into those problems and address that with the right solutions and with right answers. This is a high level multi-cloud uh, uh, container network use case that we will deep dive. As you can see, a customer trying to access our application from outside, have and the applications access hosted in two different cloud using individual cloud native services and as well as using an external service provider uh, to load balance the same and more importantly you can see the picture depicts the app needs to talk to an another application in a data center or another service in our sgdc or another uh, downstream systems in our SaaS, and as well as more importantly the app needs to talk to all our downstream systems in the monitoring and logging and observability space. Hence, it is important to create that highway in our Kubernetes world in order for the networking to seamlessly communicate with all this ecosystem and still provide the, the perfect end user experience. Using Cilium CNI, we built that highway and that highway today communicates seamlessly with our on-prem, the cloud and the SaaS and all our downstream systems in order to make that experience very reliable, very smooth, so that every time the app owner or application developer doesn't have to rethink, re-innovate, or redo, how do I connect to my data in data center? How do I connect my DB layer in a SDDC? How do I connect to my uh, a service in a SaaS? How do I log? How do I absorb? So application developer do not have to worry about how do I connect? Rather, using Cilium CNI, the highway is built the connectivity is seamless in the container world so that an application across this two large cloud ecosystem using the cloud native services, whereas through the common fabric of the CLM, we have provided that very seamless and secure connectivity. We'll talk about some of the problem statements in the following slide, how when we were in the single cloud provider using a single native services, and when we started moving into the multi-cloud, how we learned some of the problem statements and how we addressed and using the CLM CNI. Here are our problem statements, and here is how we addressed and resolved using the Cilium CNI. And this is more important for the organizations that are getting started with the multi-cloud container use cases. The, the first and foremost problem statement, when we started with a single cloud provider and a single cloud native ecosystem, uh, things were fine. When things started becoming multi-cloud, when so many number of applications moving into the cloud native ecosystem, uh, it's a very common problem that the IP exhaustion starts. And uh, when the problem statement occurred, we immediately said Cilium is a solution. It has an inbuilt VXLAN technology. And using that, we overcome that IP exhaustion issue. And because we were growing multi-cloud speed and adoption has been extremely great at the company and um, using individual CNI at every cloud provider creates a lot of complexity, a lot of challenges, a lot of tool chaining. And one of the historical successes within SNP Global, within network team is, simplify and standardize the ecosystem. And we started using Cilium CNI to simplify and standardize the delivery of multi-cloud Kubernetes network services across all ecosystem so that we don't need to re-innovate the wheel every time so that our configurations are simplified, standardized. Our policies are very consistent across the globe. Thereby we can achieve a great parity and great consistency across the cloud. And as we started building this, the developers were extremely interested in understanding the overall layer seven observability. What is happening in each of the world? How is each of the services are communicating? What is the traffic in the east, west, north, south? What's going on? So Cilium provided a greater uh, visibility through their Hubble UI. And we started delivering using the Hubble UI and gave granular access to our each application owner saying, if you are an application owner, here is a Hubble UI. You can go there and start looking at all the way up to the layer seven stack so that they can get a good understanding of how the application is talking. And the great capability that they got out of it is they were able to even see at a process level where their application is communicating, what is being communicated, so that they can make a very good decision with the data that they are getting. And over time, the applications are growing into the multi-cloud and the multi-cloud ecosystem, multi-cloud Kubernetes. We also saw there is an increased latency due to the sidecar the feature that's being used in the cloud native CNIs. Whereas in the Cilium world, when we moved there, we start seeing that Cilium does not use the sidecar at a pod level that 
tremendously improved the performance and latency uh, between the applications and that increased the overall experience for our application developer. Network security plays a very critical role in the Kubernetes world and our network security team plays a very significant role. And as the industry is moving towards zero trust policies, zero trust environment, we were very keen on building that uh, from the grounds up in a proper way. Cilium offered us a great identity-based DNS-aware, API-aware policies, which gave us an ability to deploy a truly zero trust policy capability at an app layer, at an API layer, at an application layer, at a network layer, so that we can make sure the right level of network policies and application policies are deployed to create the true zero trust environment. And as we are going into the multi-cloud, as we are deploying apps into the multi-cloud, as we are deploying apps into the multi-cloud Kubernetes ecosystem, the true benefit is about high availability. Right In a typical large enterprise, the apps needs to be always available for the, for, for the end customer. And uh, using the cluster mesh, we were able to design applications uh, at a global services level, as well as a shared services level, such as Active Directory, DNS, all of them are shared services. And applications have to be globally available for our customers uh, in over 100 countries. So we were able to deliver that consistent global high availability for our global applications. Encryption played a very critical role and we used Cilium's uh, inbuilt IPsec en encryption capability to do that. And last but not least, the multi-cluster capability played a very critical role in making sure that multi-cloud, multi-cluster use cases are addressed using Cilium cluster mesh. With that said, these are various problem statements that we learned through the evolution of our cloud native journey and uh, which led us to the position of why we need a simplified standardized multi-cloud CNI and Cilium came at a right time with the right solutions, uh, partnered with us and we were able to deploy a very frictionless network experience and provide a consistent uh, ability for our developers to deploy an application in AWS, deploy an application in Azure, it could be Google Cloud, anywhere in any cloud ecosystem, the fundamental CNI becomes standard and then they don't need to reinvent the wheel of how do I configure my IP today? How do I configure my DNS today? How do I configure my DHCP today? Where do I get the IP address? Where do I get the security? Today within SNP Global, we have made the underlying networking service of Kubernetes simplified, standardized, seamless, consistent, and more reliable across the cloud. Whereas the experience of the developer is focused on making their application even more better and put their efforts in the, the application enrichment and development journey. With that said, I conclude my uh, talk. Thanks once again for the opportunity in the EBPF Summit 2022. Looking forward for uh, engaging uh, throughout the session and uh, see you again in the, um, in the future summits and future events. Thank you.